while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You know how you are in this life. Huh? Come on, come close. Come on in. Do you know how you are in this life? Your nationality. You know this how your nationality is that you're an Israelite? Yes. Let me show you. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it's saying it shall come to pass, meaning something gonna happen in the future to the Israelites, because the book of Deuteronomy was written to the Israelites, which we know are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If, you, if we wouldn't listen to what Moses is writing to the Israelites, or what Moses is writing to you. If we don't listen to God's word, if you don't listen to his word, what's going to happen? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Meaning, do you know what a curse is? No. A curse is a bad thing. Right. So because the Israelites, the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, because we broke God's commandments, curses are going to come upon us. Bad things come upon us. Let's see what some of those bad things are. Read. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. In the city. And it's be in the city of Chicago right now. Look around. This city is cursed. Wherever we at, it's cursed. And wherever we go, we cause it to be a curse. This city is cursed. You got you looking at when we were in our neighborhood, it's trash all over the place. Our young men standing on the corner selling drugs. Gun violence. Gun violence. You got young you got young two year olds, two month olds getting shot in the head. That's a curse. Why? Because we, we refuse to keep God's commandments. You go you go into the church with your blood money. Your drug, the most high God don't care about that money. He wants you to repent and change your heart. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Uh, Leonardo. Leonardo. Thanks for keeping it. Alright, take it easy. Leonardo, what's your nationality? Uh, black and uh, Puerto Rican. What's your father? Uh, what's your, your father, what's your mother? Black. Your mother's black, your father, you said Puerto Rican and black? Your numbers. Give me the book of numbers. So, so your your father is. What's your grandfather? Do you know? No. You don't know. So we gonna go with Judah. <laughs> From the Detroit, you we gonna go with you. Say your father is black and Puerto Rican. We gonna go with Judah. If you look on this sign, the American blacks are the tribe of Judah. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter one and verse eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. You know what a pedigree is? Uh, you, you, have, you ever had dogs or anything like that? Yeah. What, what, when, you, when you think of a dog, what is the pedigree? A type of breed. Huh? A breed of dogs? It's breed, right. So the pedigree is referring to basically your nationality, in, in, in layman terms, your nationality is determined, your bloodline. Your nationality is determined by your father. Whatever your father is, you, that's what you are. Okay. Read. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. So they declared their, feder, their pedigrees or their bloodline after their families, read. By the house of their father. It's determined by the house of your father. So because the, 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 determined by your father, you are from the tribe of Judah. So let me ask you a question. Why why is our neighborhood? You live in Chicago? Yeah. You live around here? Yeah. Is it a lot of violence that goes on around here? Uh I don't you know sound like yeah. that, so. But you watch you watch the news, don't you? Yeah. Because a lot of violence, even if it's not directly around here. In the city of Chicago, it's a lot of violence that goes on, right? Why is that so? Why does that happen in our neighborhood so prevalent? Why does that go on? Did you, did you hear what I just read before? Uh, yeah. You heard a little bit of it? Get to 28. We're going to start back over, so I want you to get the full... You know, I want you to get the full 
just gist of what we was bringing out. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, let me ask you this question. Are you familiar with the Bible? No. No? Do you know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Okay, 20, you got, you got it? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. How you doing, bro? Hey, stop for a minute. What's your name? Alex? You believe in the Bible? You know our history is in the Bible? I'm saying, but do you know, you know that our history is in the Bible? Okay, so listen up, listen up. I'm going to bring it, I'm bringing it out. I just started reading it again. This is a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses spake the words, the words that we find in Deuteronomy are the words that Moses spoke to Israel. Now go back to 28 to 15. Let's see what some of the words that he spoke to Israel. And that's how we're going to identify who Israel is today. Because the nations, all the nations go back to the beginning. And the Bible is a history book. It's a history book of all the nations. But in one specifically, it's the history of the nation of Israel. So we're going we gonna to go through these, these curses and we're going to see who the nation of Israel is today. It's not, and I'm going to let you know right now, it's not those that's living in Israel. Right. It's not those that call themselves, that's Jewish. Right. It's not them. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it says, it shall come to pass. Amen. My brother, you will, you will wait for the, you will wait for the, you see what got to come out with? So it shall come to pass. So this is Moses speaking. You know the Bible, this is written, what, over three, four thousand years ago. He said, it shall come to pass. So something will happen in the future to the Israelites, read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if the Israelites didn't observe to do the commandments that Moses gave to them, it says curses are going to come upon them. What is a curse? Just a, just, it ain't, it ain't, don't, 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 don't try to get too deep with it. What's a, a curse? It's not a simple, a simple word. Like take it to preschool level. Uh, I can't hear you. A hex? A curse is a bad thing. So a curse, it says a curse, these curses that come upon the Israelites, a curse is a bad thing. Now we're going to see what somebody says, these curses. So it's, so it's going to tell us what curses are going to come upon the Israelites as we read on in the verses. Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city. It says, curse shall thou be in the city. So remember, we're talking about the Israelites. What nation of people are cursed in the city? In the city of Chicago, who's cursed? The blacks and the Hispanics, and the Native Americans. You ever been anywhere outside of Chicago? No. Where you been? Joliet, I guess. Is it blacks in Joliet? Yeah. What are the conditions compared to the other nations that live in that city? Similar, but... They're at the bottom. That's a curse. So wherever you go, wherever you go, well, if you go to Detroit, we curse. We at the bottom of that. Uh, when you go to our neighborhoods, you can tell the difference from when you go to the, the white man neighborhood, when you go to Chinatown. We curse. Right. Because all of the evils, even when you look at the statistics of the murder rate, when you break the numbers down, majority of the murders happen in our community. Like in Chicago, the numbers from last, I think last year, it was like 700 and something murders. 500 of them was in our community, was amongst the African Americans. That's a curse. We cursed in the city. That's why we, we a, a, a lot of our older men are strung out on drugs. They whine old. Our young men are selling drugs. They wild in the streets just shooting everybody down. They torturing everybody. That's a curse. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse 
out there being in the field. You know anything about history? What were we doing back? Not even that. It really didn't even happen that long ago. Two, three hundred years ago. What were we doing? Picking cotton. That's cursed in the field. So they let you know the Israelites is us. We are the Israelites because we fit these curses. We don't. Verse 17. Uh, yeah. Verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. This is a black community, right? What's your name, my brother? Tremaine. 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 So, I want you to listen to this. In, our, in this neighborhood, this is a black, this is a black neighborhood, right? How many black businesses are on this street? None. Read that again. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So I'm gonna, just to bring you up to speed, what we read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it's referring to the Israelites, and it says the Israelites, when they break God's commandments, they are gonna go through curses. It's just bad thing. And we read some of those curses. And one of those curses is read that again. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So when you think of a basket, what generally what does a basket do? It carries stuff. So a basket is something that it's a it's like your biscuit. Basket and your store is going into your business. Our businesses are cursed. So see what happened when a black man opened up a business. Let's say a black man get a, uh, a see, let's say he do get a, a store, a storefront. What happens? It don't last long. We don't support each other. We would rather, a, a black man to open up a, a real spot right here, everybody will still go to McDonald's. They won't support their brother. That's called curse. Because when you, when you look at, yeah. So it says, curse shall be that basket in the store. A business, when you got a business, when you got businesses in your community, your business is supposed to uphold the community. It's supposed to be the, the, the backbone of the community, the banks, all of that. Because the money is going into the business and it's going right back into the community. Into the business, right back into the community. That's your businesses and your banks. We don't got that. We got to go and get loans from our enemies. That's a curse. Because we, we, we live off our enemies. It ain't nothing we can. It ain't nothing we can do up on our own. Even if we do start a business, who we got to go to to get start the business? Got to go to our enemies, and it makes their pocket fatter. We got to pay them taxes automatically. We don't have a choice because if you don't pay your taxes, even if you got a house, you don't pay your taxes. What happens to the house? They will take it. Even if you got a mortgage, you paying your mortgage on time. Even if you paid the house off, if you stop paying them taxes, they gonna take the cut. They gonna take the house. That's a curse. Read that. This is the book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. Ye have so much, and bring in little. Uh -huh. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Who that sound like? Read it again. Ye have so much. He says, ye have so much. When we do get a business, we probably sell a whole lot. But what happens? And bring in little. And we bring in little. It seems like we, uh, we open up a business, the line be down the street. And then after uh, six months, the business gone, it's boarded up, gone. Read. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. We got food on the table, but we still don't have enough. We live in paycheck, paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. That's a curse. Because we turn our back on our God. We are the Israelites. That's what, that's what, that's what, we, what we're reading right now is proof that this is our history book. The Bible is our book. It's not a white man's book. It's our book right. because it talks about us. Read. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. We drink, but we're not filled with drink. We don't, we never, we never have enough. No matter how much we buy, we can go to the store and fill our refrigerator up. And then after about a week, it's the stuff gone and we don't have the money to get it back in the refrigerator. We don't have the, we don't have the funds to get it back where it gotta go. A lot of us are on welfare section eight. We gotta wait till the next month to get that food back. It's, so we, we pinching pennies, living check to check, pinching pennies, trying to make ends meet, trying to feed our family. This Bible is our history book. Ye told you, but there is none war. It says ye clothe you, but there is none war. We never have enough clothes. We put, we got clothes on our back, and what happened? They get holes in them quick. We, 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 we they, 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 they get worn down, 
and then we got to replace them. And a lot of times we got to pinch pennies to replace them. Our children. Our children sometimes got to... How old are you? 31. Yeah. When you were coming up, you ever had times when you had to hand me down? If you had an older brother or cousin, you had to get hand me down because your mother and your father wasn't able to, they wasn't able to go get you to do stuff. That's us. Back to Deuteronomy, is that the full man? Yes, sir. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes. He said, he that earneth wages, so you got a job. But you go to work, and every time you get your check, the next day is gone. It's like, damn, I just got paid. Like, man, where the money go? It went to bills. It went to every, it went, I went all over. You, you, the money came, and it was gone just as quick as you got it. That's, he said, read it again. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. To put it in the bag with holes. That's a curse. You getting money coming in. I don't care how much money you got coming in. It seems like you never have enough. You can, you can be making 150% above what your expenses are, and you still turn around and like, dang, my bank account is, gone. It's, it's zero. I still don't have enough. That's because we are under the curses of the Most High God. We are the Israelites. We are the people of this book. And right now, our God, which is our Father, is angry with us and he's punishing us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.